Within 10 minutes of its birth, a baby fawn is able to stand. Within 7 hours, it is able to walk. Between those two events, it engages in a desperate flailing of limbs to figure it all out. Figuring it out is what determines life and death. While the consequences aren't so dire for virtual AIs and robots, the workings are the same. Within minutes of coming online or alive, the AI is pretty much functional and ready. Whatever it needs from that point is adapted to and learned. When people think of artificial intelligence, the major image that pops up in their heads is that of a robot gliding around and giving mechanical replies. There are many forms of AI, but humanoid robots are one of the most popular forms. They have been depicted in several Hollywood movies, and if you are a fan of science fiction, you might have come across a few humanoids. One of the earliest forms of humanoids was created in 1495 by Leonardo da Vinci. It was an armor suit, and it could perform a lot of human functions such as sitting, standing, and walking. It even moved as though a real human was inside it. But innovations have evolved now. Sophisticated AIs don't even need a body to function effectively. And every year, there seems to be a new AI to cater for a certain aspect of human existence. In this video, we will be showing you a list of five virtual AIs you may never have heard about. Replica is an AI chatbot that has lofty goals to become its user's close friend. The most interesting feature of Replica is that it can be trained to become a mini version of its user. Through conversations and sessions where the users record daily experiences, the bot learns about the user and tries to mimic their personality. However, the user can and should upvote and downvote responses because their input is vital to the bot's development. You can also make statements such as, that doesn't make sense, to get Replica to stop using a certain response or phrase. The app also has different modes of conversation. In normal mode, Replica's responses are based on what it's taught. In TV and cake mode, the bot riffs responses free from the user's influence. Over time, the bot gains experience and levels, with badges awarded according to how Replica views the user's personality. To learn about the user, Replica is programmed to be inquisitive. However, if it prods too much or wants to discuss something the user is uncomfortable with, the user can tell it to stop or change the topic. With regular input, it grows smarter and gives more realistic responses in conversations. It's no surprise that Replica is one of the top AI chatbots in the world. Xiao Ice released a range of new AI products in 2020, including a virtual human product line for individual users, plus an artificial intelligence customization tool known as the X Suite. People can use this device to create their own virtual boyfriend or companion. Xiao Ice, which means Little Ice, is an artificial intelligence initiative that began six years ago as a chatting robot. Spun off by U.S. tech giant Microsoft Corporation last month as an independent Chinese venture, the company aims to be a platform to power AI-enabled human-machine interaction, as it believes AI-human interaction will be common in the future. Potential users can search for Zhao Bing in the Hawaii app market, summon Zhao Ice to Zhao AI, or on Xiaomi phones, follow Zhao Bing's private message on Weibo, and then enter I want a virtual boyfriend to follow the prompts to adopt their unique virtual boyfriend. This boyfriend is a virtual robot generated by Zhao Ice's framework. Its personality and reaction mode can be completely determined by the user, and it can talk to the user like a real boyfriend. Zhao Ai says the biggest difference between the virtual boyfriend and other AI is that it is a session-oriented artificial intelligence framework in which all parts of the technology work together to serve full interaction instead of focusing only on partial optimization. For example, in terms of the core dialogue engine, the framework will perform autonomous learning based on the content given by the user and organize the language like a real human, rather than simply responding to the user mechanically. This involves an active learning technology introduced by the team for the Zhao Ice framework. 
When it finds that its knowledge is not enough, it will actively use search engines to grab more content from the entire network to supplement its knowledge. This process only takes a few minutes or seconds. Talk about a caring, attentive boyfriend. The Anima app is like Replica, but you're able to set your chatbot's personality at the start, helping customize the AI to your needs and wants. You can also tell Anima five of your top hobbies or likes, and it'll steer the conversation towards those if you start to run out of things to talk about. In addition to changing your Anima's personality, you can also change its look, gender, and even relationship status. To change the relationship status from friends to romantic partners, you have to upgrade to a premium subscription. One of the most impressive things about the Anima AI is the quality of its conversational banter. With a lot of AI chatbots, the conversation doesn't feel natural. And sometimes, if you say something weird or off-topic, the chatbot doesn't know what to make of it and says something that doesn't make sense. It's different with Anima, who is quite adaptive to such scenarios. The conversational prowess of Anima was well developed. Anima asks you questions and wants to get to know you and help the AI get smarter, obviously, instead of just answering when spoken to. While most chatbots claim to learn from input from real people, nowhere is this more apparent than with Simi Simi. This chatbot seems to have been influenced mostly by internet trolls and memes. While the developers encourage the user to report any crude or explicit statements from the bot, it seems many have slipped through the cracks. If the bot crosses the line though, you can make sure it doesn't make that statement to you again. The app also filters any potential rude, explicit, or abusive language. In the options menu, under phrase management, the user can also choose to teach Simi Simi how to respond to certain statements. Overall, don't expect a deep, meaningful conversation with Simi Simi because it has all the maturity of a high school boy or a dodgy Tinder match. When a user asks Simi Simi to stop showing so many ads, one of its replies is, I hate ads, but I have to show them because I am controlled by greedy humans looking for a payday. Beyond its traditional role as a chatbot AI, Wysa has a very specific goal to help users deal with anxiety, stress, and depression. While it is not a replacement for professional psychological help, it aims to help people cope with clinically proven self-help techniques. There are other AI bots and apps that help patients deal with their health, but WISA is slightly different. Firstly, users can write their own responses most times, rather than being forced to choose pre-written answers. Secondly, the bot responds according to the user's input. There are also a series of commands you can give the bot so that it provides you with the correct conversational format. In terms of talking about feelings and getting a response, Replica does a better job of seeming human. But Wysa is adaptable in presenting solutions and options to the user and proves to be a useful bot for providing coping mechanisms. There you have it. Five virtual robots that you may not know about. Please like and subscribe to get more content like this. Also, click on the notification bell to get notified when we upload more in the future. And finally, which virtual robot do you think is the most realistic? Which one was your favorite? Leave your answer in the comment section below.